This is the true story of seven strangers. I can't believe we're in the same place. <laughs> it still smells the same. It still looks the same. OK, we are officially re -roommated. We do keep in contact with each other, um, some a little bit more than others. But this was an opportunity for all seven of us to be back together again and revisit and just be in each other's energy. People have been asking us all day, like, what does it feel like? You know, you guys started reality television and blah, blah, blah. And and like, we get that and we understand it to a degree. It's, it's still sort of hard to wrap your head around it. Like 30 years later, you would get a phone call to go back and not just go back, go back into the same exact place where you lived 30 years ago with six other people. There's no way, I don't care what bar you have, what kind of mental therapy you've been going through, it's hard to prepare for that. I, We said yes, but we weren't ready. The first season, you know, there's homelessness is tackled, racism is tackled, homophobia is tackled. There's a bunch of this voting because that was the year that Bill Clinton was running for president. There's so many different things that were tackled. I mean, think about where we are now, the era of Trump that we just came through, COVID, Black Lives Matter, Me Too, you know, things like marriage equality for the LGBTQ plus community. I can guarantee those things are touched on in different ways in this, these new episodes, which makes the show, our season, our cast, I feel really powerful because it's literally, we're bookending, you know, to you know, the, the, the original 13 episodes and these new episodes really get to sh show you how much America has changed and how much work we have to do and what we seven represent in terms of what might be possible just by our connections to each other.